What is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 21st tutorial for Angular and in this tutorial I'm gonna go a bit deeper into routes in Angular and how pretty much we can create some complex routing patterns and uh, match them with Angular. So we have seen how we can create some basic routes like just the normal route and then going to the dashboard which pretty much allows us to go to something like doing dashboard right but right now it doesn't work because of the guard in place but anyway so we can just get rid of this if you want but i'm just keep that in place right so now what we can do is we can create a new route which again would be let's just say this is users right so let's just say you are creating an application for your internal network or whatever it is where you have associated every user in your company with an ID so what you want is that people should be able to access something like users and then the ID of that user or maybe something like the username something like this right so it pretty much looks like you want a pattern something like this in regular expressions right users and then match anything after that and pretty much angular would take care of that what is being passed by the url right so in angular what we do is that we create a token out of it so you can pretty much say like users and then an id or a name or whatever you want to call this right so with this you have created a token inside the url so now angular knows that uh, user would be passing some sort of dynamic data it could be anything but we actually need to retrieve that later on so we're gonna store that right again we can create a component for this and we can just say this is user component and we can create this component by ng generate component and just saying user so it would create a user component for us and uh, i guess we would lose these changes so i'm not gonna reload this i'm gonna just import it manually so we're gonna say import user component from user and then what we have here user component right and then we can just include this inside our declarations Or we can just bring them down if you want like that so now we have this user component in action okay so now how do we actually make use of this token which the user would pass inside the url inside our component so we go to our user component dot typescript file okay so now to actually get the data we are getting from the route what we need to do is uh, and by the way this ng on in it is nothing but a lifecycle call function of angular which just fires when your component is ready right so you do not need to worry a lot about this you can just make use of all of your code inside you can just write your code which you want to fire after the component is loaded inside here so what we need is we need an activated router which again we saw in our guard i guess it was right but this was route snapshot anyways so what we can do is uh, pretty much right here say private route and uh, i can say this activated route and we can import import activated route from angular router right and then what we can do and actually this should go inside constructor because this is our dependency and right here i can say this dot route so as to see what we get inside our activated route so right now if i see we have our um, users and then a name so i'm gonna go something like this and why not just fire up the console as well and hit enter okay so we see user works that is the default template but for activated route you see that we get this object now let's just examine what this is 
it contains a lot of properties right and we are mainly interested in the parameter which is mihul mpt so if we take a look inside this snapshot and right here inside this params object you see that we get this name as mihul mpt which is exactly what we wrote here that is the name the name is the name of the object property and the value is what we passed in here so what we can do is pretty much right here we can say um, name is equal to nothing right and right here inside ng on live we can say this dot name is this dot route dot what we have is the snapshot as the property name and then we can get our parameter which is dot name and uh, simply and I guess this is snapshot dot parameters dot name right so now you can see that we can just get it like this but if you have um, pretty much yeah that would work right so now what we can do is inside our user component we can say hello and then name right here and it's safe you can see that we get hello mehul mpt we can write anything like hello one two three here and this would just work fine i guess angular by default has some sort of protection for cross-site scripting yep you can see that you cannot pretty much um, do cross-site scripting a tag and just removes the script because it includes the tag so we can pretty much try our luck with 2f and it's just yeah angular just protects sanitizes your data automatically you do not need to do that so it's safe to work with right so with this you can create dynamic routes and uh, something like i don't know if you write uh, if you have a service where you create an email address something like this what you can do is uh, create an md5 hash of this email address right here and display it in an image and get it from Grafta, right? So that you can actually display the image of the user associated with that Grafta account, which is uh, pretty much uh, you can do at least with Angular for now, right? So again, to sum up, you can get your parameters with this dot route dot snapshot, and again, you can create something like uh, name and then. Uh, ID as well if you want to and then if we take a look we get some errors it says that it cannot match any routes so what we can do is keep the original route in place right and one more thing about routes is that it starts matching from the top to bottom right so if there are two possible matches for a single URL then the match which comes first would be the route which would be preferred by angular and i'm just gonna show you an example real quick for that and for now we can do something like users mehul mpt and five and hit enter you see we just get hello mehul mpt because we are not making use of that id so again we can just console log this this dot route dot parents dot this dot route dot what we have snapshot snapshot dot parents right here and you can see that we get mehul mpt and id as five right so you can just make use of that as well okay so now before ending what i want to do is create a wildcard route so right now <clears throat> you can see that if you visit something like which is not defined you see that we get an error in the console which says that it cannot match any route which is quite useless because you would like to show a 404 not found at least to the user because you cannot implement a header for 404 because angular is running on the front end so at least you can just show the message that your page is not found so to do that what you can do is inside your router you can make use of a wildcard which is path and then two asterisks right here which pretty much says that uh, match everything and obviously you want it to be the last route in your route configuration because if you place it anywhere above then any route below that would not would not be ever executed by angular because as i said 
routes would be executed in the order they are placed inside this app routes array right so we can say like component is uh, not found component and again we can just quickly create this one we can say ng generate component not found like that and it would be okay so we can do path and component not found component like that and inside our not found component we can say 404 not found right so now if we take a look in our application and i visit any random page you can see that we get 404 not found instead of you know just angular throwing a bunch of error messages and uh, making us sad so again if you make this a little higher in the queue you would see that uh, we would lose access to we would have access to our home route because it's the first one but uh, if you try to visit users now or maybe even meholempity for which we have the route defined you see that we do not get to this route ever because angular starts matching from the top to bottom and it sees oh yeah we have got a wildcard and this matches this route so i'm just going to go with that so again you want this route or whatever route you want to have for a 404 to be the last route in your script so that angular always considers this as the route when none of the above routes matches so yeah that's really much how you would make a basic routing with the uh, angular and it, this is kind of like token based routing where you can split up your or make your urls a little bit more dynamic and in the next tutorial we're gonna go into a little bit more into routing and uh, we can just pretty much ignore or basically improve this kind of structure which is uh, made by making use of the children property inside these routes so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one